Drawing free body diagrams of all three systems, we have to be careful when drawing the forces on the pin at B. Note that when I draw the force on the pin at B going down on member DB to be equal and opposite of member FD, that means I must choose the force at B on member ABC to be going up. When adding these two, when adding the free body diagrams from member A, B, C, and member D, B back together, you, you can see that since F, B is equal and opposite at B, we would simply get the resulting free body diagram of drawing the whole system. If, however, I had chosen to draw F, B going down also on member ABC. If we've tried to put these two free body diagrams together, which are not consistent because these two forces are not equal and opposite, we would get the free body diagram of the entire system would look like we would have two FB at B. This is not correct or consistent with the entire system. Therefore, when we choose this force B going down on member DB, we must choose it to go up on member ABC. Now the forces are said to be consistent. This is very important when drawing free body diagrams of multiple systems, as you will have multiple connections that will be the same in the various free body diagrams that you draw. It's important to choose conventions that you are familiar with, but once you choose a force reaction at a pin in one system, you must draw it equal and opposite in the other system.